Okay, so the, these videos, this one and most of the subsequent ones were produced in 2015, so they had a slightly different setup in terms of the file names and directories they were run on the virtual box on the machines in our H461 lab. So uh, set things up as I've shown in the first two videos, the 1 and 1.5, and then just sort of understand or check the analogy with the subsequent ones. Is make the shape files that go with our mapping. So we're going to have a point shape file for strike and dips, a line shape file for the faults and contacts, and then a polygon shape file for the units. So let's go ahead and do each one. So we go to catalog, go into that directory there, the rectified map. And what I want to do is I'm going to do right click new shapefile each time. So new shapefile. So this one's going to be Arnett S plus D point shapefile. So just let's leave that one. It says yes. We don't. It doesn't have the coordinate system. That's all right. So now let's make two more, three more. We'll do shapefile. New shape file. So this is going to be our net faults. Make this a polyline. Okay. Yes, we know. Let's do one here that's going to be the our net contact. So this was one that we didn't have before in the earlier video. And then finally, let's do our net shapefile, so we'll do our net units. And this will be a polygon. Okay, okay. So we've made them. Now let's go and set the coordinate system for each one. So let's do just in order here. So our net contacts, I'm right clicking properties and uh, We'll do the coordinate system first. So let's go NAT 83, zone 12 north, but let's make this a favorite before we proceed. So let's be a little faster. So right, faults, properties, coordinate system, favorite. And now the strike and dips, properties, favorite for the coordinate system, and units, properties, coordinate system. Okay. Now let's go back through and we'll do the fields for the attributes. So let's start with the contacts. So properties, now we'll click on fields. So contact, we'll just say, we'll just have the one which is called type. So that'll be like approximate or certain. And then same with defaults. Let's do fields type. And then for the strike and dips, let's do properties. So here we'll do strike. And now remember we want to have a float, floating point, dip, floating point, and then just say note in case we need that. And that can be text. Okay, and then finally units. Properties. So this one can be um, unit uh, abbreviation. Notice how I have an underscore there because I don't know if these field names like to have spaces. And that should be a text because we'll have like YDS there. Too long of a file name, that's okay. So unit abri. All right, so we've got now, we're ready. We have the uh, shape files. We're ready to digitize and we can do points, lines, and polygons. The other thing you want to look at over here on the left in the um, layers is the ordering. So we want points over lines over the polygons. So this is correct, but if they were in the wrong order, you can just drag one pull it down and see now faults would be underneath units, but let's push it back up. So 
that's good. Let's save. 